Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. In last week's video, I took y'all along on a great yard sale that one of my friends had and she invited me to come and pre-shop. So this is gonna be part one of the haul. I'm gonna show y'all the things that I got and what I paid for them. I hope y'all enjoy the video. One of my good friends, she has a yard sale every year. She's got beautiful things, you know, home decor, jewelry, handbags, you know, clothes. But anyway, she asked if I wanted to come over and pre-shop and of course I went and I had a, a huge time and I got some great things. So I'm just gonna start showing y'all some of the stuff. So the, this is, she had several wicker basket type items. This right here is a chip bowl and I have had one of these in the past and I used it a lot when I did a lot of entertaining and I probably sold mine throughout the years at a yard sale when I just need to get rid of it. Mine was a lot bigger. So of course it took up a lot of room to store it. This one is a, a lot better of a size, but you just put your chips or your crackers and then you can put your dip or your veggies or whatever you want to serve in this little bowl. And I also got this huge basket. Y'all can tell by the size of me how big this basket is. It is huge. And y'all should only have $1 on this. So this has got, you know, on the inside, it's got some reds and some greens. So it'd be beautiful, you know, if you hung it up and you put some greenery and stuff in it for Christmas time. Or, you know, you could, um, we could flip it over, hang it up, or just, there's so many things you can do with baskets like this. And I absolutely love that it's got handles on the sides too. I got these bottles and there were, there was actually three of them. And I, the other one, I think I've already put in my storage unit, but, but I got three of these just glass bottles and these were $1 each. So I got three of these. I got this really pretty, little ornate type mirror and it's you know already distressed and painted <clears throat> it's kind of a pink color and the price on it was three dollars i could not pass this up you know anything bird related and especially springtime birds are so popular i mean they're popular all through the year but especially in the spring and summer but i absolutely love the print that's, that's in this and I love the black, the distress frame. And this right here was $3. This is just like a little blanket shawl. And I'm pretty sure this come from the Target um, bullseye section. And she's got $1 on it. I got this cute little pottery pot. It's got a little crackle finish on it. It's distressed. It's got the little um, dish. It's all, all one piece. And this was um, $1. She had one pumpkin, and of course, I love this pumpkin. It's got leaves on the top, and it's that, um, just that braided, um, real rustic look to it. But I think this was, yeah, one dollar. So I'm, you know, even though it's April and springtime, I'm not gonna pass up a pumpkin. <laughs> I'll just put it in my storage, and come fall, I'll be so glad that I got this. Now this right here is just some, um, it says orange blossom hand soap refill. This is uh, 64 ounces. She has used a little bit out of it. I would probably say she's used down to probably about right here. I smelt it, the smell is very pleasant, but this right here is a lot of hand soap. But you can see the price on this was $2. This right here, I thought was so pretty. Now she said this was a Pier 1 piece. She got it at Pier 1, you can see the bottom of it, how pretty that is, kind of a pewter bottom. And then it's got that around the rim. And then this close right here is absolutely huge. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to break it, but here it is. But y'all, this is, is, like I say, it's massive. And then it's got the little knob at the top. Now this piece was $15. I did not mind paying $15 for this because I'm sure if this comes from Pier 1 and I'm gonna try to find it online and see what the price was just to see what she paid for it. But, you know, I, I, I'm not sure this could run up anywhere from like $70, $80. But, you know, I could be wrong, but anyway, I'll try to look it up and find it. Here's just another little embellishing piece that she had in her home decor. It says on right here, with God, all things are possible. I love that. This was one dollar. 
So you can put it on this side or you can put it on that side. And this right here, I love this little case. This is new with tags, 75 cents, but it's just a cute little rustic wood heart on a little piece of, uh, of twine. Now, like I say, we can hang this on a bottle. This, you know, could go on a Christmas tree. Just so many things you can do with these little items. This right here is a beautiful uh, wooden tray. It has a, like a metal uh, pedestal. She had $8 on this. She had a few sets of coasters. Now, you know, I'm not really a big person to put out coasters, but I love the look of coasters. And sometimes I'll just set them out as home decor, but sometimes you actually need coasters. So I thought these were really neat. I've never seen any like this, but these were $2. You got four in the pack. And like I say, you can see <laughs> these are still new. She's never used them, but they're just like little pieces of, um, of wood. So really rustic, but I thought these were really unique. So I'm gonna enjoy setting these out. You know, I can also use these for like little, little platforms and little risers, you know, to put up under things too. So I thought these were neat. She had these little buckets. These are called uh, tall galvanized bucket. I'm not sure where she got these, but these were $1 each. So I got all of these that she had and she had three. So I got all three of them because these are really pretty. You know, we could do a, um, a rust technique on them and kind of rust them some and age them to take the shine off of them. Or, you know, of course we could paint them and put some kind of like floral type of flower market kind of graphic on the front of these. But these are really fun project pieces. And then the greenery that's in here, that she just had this stuck down in there. But I went on and got this too, and she had one dollar on each stem of these. But this right here is just a little, little terracotta pot, real rustic looking, and then it's got this greenery in it. And this right here, she had two dollars on this. I thought that was gorgeous, really pretty, and especially for spring and summertime. I love this piece right here. I was looking to see if this is wood or if it's like, um, I'm not sure what this is made out of, but you can see it's kind of got a whitewash on it. Doesn't have a label. This piece was $1. It's got a little hole back here in the back. So I'm not sure what you do with this hole. Like maybe you could put like a little leather handle on it or something. If you know what you can do with the hole on this, let me know. But, or maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you would do with that because I don't think you'd want to hang it up. But anyway, I thought this was so pretty. Loved it. And again, another set of garland beads. I have got so many beads from her. These right here are a little bit different. They got like the little faux leather tassels. And then these are more of like a whitewash. But love these. $2. This is probably one of my favorite pieces I got. I have really been wanting one of these that is shaped like this. And let me tell y'all the price of it first. She had 10 on this, but this has got like a, um, a metal bottom and it's got more of the whitewash on it. And it's got like a metal looped ring at the top. And then she had like this little, this little thing right here, this little star little uh, beads on it and it. I'm sorry y'all, it's windy here today. This is two. This is just like a little pottery urn. Um, One dollar. So, I mean, can't pass that up. We can put some florals in it or put some greenery and I think this would be really cute. This is just like a little, I don't know, a little white enamel, little, uh, I guess it's like a little can candle votive, but she had one dollar on it. Here's another set of really unique coasters. I love these too. Now these are just like little pieces of different kinds of woods that are distressed and they've got the little felt bottoms on them so they don't, you know, don't slide and stuff. That was more of a whitewash. You know, and these would be really easy if you wanted to DIY some of these. You can get these pieces like at Lowe's and then you just paint them and distress them. And then there's one that's like a red color. And we got this neat little cabinet. Now this little cabinet is kind of like the same, same stuff as this. 
It's got the little ornate detail on it in white. And then it's got like, you know, the whitewashed wood. I absolutely love this. Now, I don't know what she used this for, but you could put this in the bathroom. It's got all these little drawers, but you could put like tea in it or craft supplies. Just anything in these little, in these little drawers. Let's see how much this one was. $5. Now this is another piece that was kind of in that same little family of wood that's got like the whitewash distress look to it. This piece is $3. You know, this is another little piece that she had <clears throat> displayed in her home decor. It's just like a little metal stand. It was $1. And then she had this cute little potted uh, fern. It's like a little miniature fern sitting in that. But is that not darling? And so you could just take this and then just set it in here like that. She has some cutting boards. I got this one. I love this. I don't have one that's like round shaped like this. So I thought this one was unique. This was new with tags. Uh, let's see. The brand name is Vintage Lancaster. It just says 13 inch round layering board, but $1. While we're on cutting boards, I got this one. I love the color of this one. Got the nice little handle here. This one is $2. It's got a name on it. I can't make out what the name on the back of it is. But that's the brand. It's got some like little inscriptive hearts on it. But I thought that was so cute. But you know, cutting boards are awesome. They make great project pieces. But you can also just display them and layer them. So that's probably what I will do with those. I love this. I love decorative bottles, and this one right here really caught my eye. This is, you know, I don't, it's kind of an amber, kind of a gray glass, and then it's got this beautiful ornate top to it. And the top, the top comes out, so you could actually, you know, put flowers in this and just lay this down in front of it, or you could put something in this and just put the top on it. This was $6, but then this is a good size bottle too. These little cutting boards, these were with the other two that I got. These were 75 cents each. These are still new with tags. These are a Robert Stanley uh, brand. Just says farmhouse tableware, but look how cute these are. So I know these will be great little, little project pieces too. I love this. This right here is really pretty. This is just like a piece of embellished scrap wood. It's on like a little a little stand. And then it's got some embellishments down here. These are metal. And then it's got the clip right here. You know, you can put old recipe cards, photos, postcards. Just the sky's the limit of what you can put on these little boards. But um, let's see what she's got on this. This was three. Now, I thought this was pretty, especially for spring and summer. Just a little terracotta pot, and it's got some really pretty florals in it. These are just like tall and wispy-like, and these are $2. These right here she had in her Christmas section. This was a whole bag of just like little faux, little wood logs. These were only $1. And of course, we got some more beads. <laughs> This is just a long beaded garland. There, I, there is another one of these I've already showed in a, in a previous video. So I got two of these and these, we can always add stuff to the ends of these. That's what's so great about them. These are still new with tags and these were $1. This is a little soap dish. It's got little feet on it. It's real, got, got a real rusted, um, rusted type patina to it and it was $3. And we got this really large rustic style metal basket. It's got the handles on it. I cannot wait because this will be so great. We can display pillows and blankets in this. So I think this is absolutely beautiful. This would make a great piece for a foyer table to put up under it and just layer some things in it. And this was only $5. Okay, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed part one of the haul. I got so much stuff and the video was going to be so long, so I divided it in part one and part two. So part two will go up next week, so be looking for it. If you have not seen the actual yard sale video, I will have a link to it in a pinned comment and also down in the description box. So make sure to go out and, and watch it because this was one of the best yard sales I've ever been to. 
So like I said, make sure to stay tuned to part two. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I'll see y'all again on Saturday with my regular video upload. I hope y'all all have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.